<laughs> Welcome back to our channel. Thank Good you. to have you all back again. I know we've been away for a while now. Yeah, you know, sometimes you just need to take time to cool off, you know. Yeah, we had back. work, we yeah. had my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, we're back now and we promise to be as consistent as possible. Mm. So welcome back. If you're new here and you're seeing our faces for the first time, um, my name is Zini and I have here Jide. We make videos from Alberta, Canada on faith, family and our life experiences here as new immigrants in Canada. Yeah. We also share tips that would help um, those of you that are coming into Canada that would help them settle down easily and quickly right is consider joining the family by hitting on the subscribe button and tapping on the bell icon and for our ogs thank you for always coming through thank you for always watching our videos we love you we love you guys thank you for your consistency yes and uh, you know this, this period we were away uh, did i say away okay <laughs> uh, for the past two weeks we hadn't posted any video mm -hmm. and uh, we've been getting a lot of you know comments people have, have been, been calling people have been sending messages <laughs> yes just to tell you that <clears throat> you guys really expect something good from us yeah and we appreciate that yes we, we do appreciate, appreciate it, it. Yeah. and we're going to do our best to meet up with your demand as yeah. much as we can yeah. okay so guys we came to bear good news yeah. <laughs> from the title you all know what we're going to be talking about today we have a new pathway yeah. um to relocating to Canada and we want to share what that pathway is and just you know help you guys figure out if you are eligible yeah. so guys if you're ready for this video please come on with us just try your best to watch to the end because um, it's a very informative video that would be very, very helpful yeah, yeah. Um, for those of us that are <coughs> those of you that are eligible so if yeah. you're ready let's hop right in yeah let's go guys <laughs> So guys, there is a new pathway of relocating to Canada. This pathway has been in existence. It's not new. Yeah. It's, it's been as um, a pilot program. Yeah, but well, um, not very many people know. Yeah, yeah, so pilot programs are like test programs. Yeah. But now it has become a permanent immigration program. Yeah. Um, it's become a pathway on its own. Yeah. So guys, um, the good news about this um, pathway is that Canada has been inviting candidates every single week through this program. We're about to share with you all today. Yeah. All right. So I hope you all are ready. Get your pen and paper and get ready to jot down just stuff. <laughs> If you live outside of Canada or within and have the required skill for this program, then this is a huge opportunity for you to apply. Yeah. All right. So when you receive an invitation with this program, um, you would um, have um, extra 600 points and that would help you start up your process and, you know, start getting you ready to come over to Canada, which simply means that you would also have um, a federal skill account set up, even if you have low scores. Yeah. Okay. So um, this would be like um, it's you, it's like a provincial nomination, but in another way. Okay. So this program has really become very popular for eligible applicants because it prioritizes you over others because of your skill set and talent. Okay. All right. Meaning that you would have to get a job. So if I may get you right, it prioritizes you over the, is it at uh, the federal level or at the yes, province level? at the province level. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. There are a few things that are interesting too about this program. Um, there will be a dedicated agent who will help you through the immigration process when you start. Okay. Which is, you know, different from the usual. It's really so a new kind are, are of are these agents paid agents or they are agents from the province? They are agents from the province assigned to you when you okay. start off this program, okay. right? so it's not like you are going to be paying them. Exactly. Okay. And also, it is a program that would give you continuous support on your journey towards moving to Canada. So mm -hmm. you'll have people call you. You just have support. Um, you have places to ask questions and all of that. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and your application at the, at the point when when we talk about the process, at some point your application can be processed in the shortest possible time. Well, we're talking about two to three months when you wow. get to the point 
where you get a job offer and all of that so we're getting into that all right i don't know why i'm very excited about it <laughs> it's exciting, yeah. yeah it's exciting because we're, all, we're used to the usual ways and when we have new stuff coming up um yeah. Yeah, it, it just excites me. We'll be having, we'll just try and share the exact program and yeah. we'll all find out together if you all are eligible. So, name of this program officially is <laughs> um, British Columbia Provincial Nominee Program Technology. So it's called the BC Tech program. So yeah, what are the skills that um, this program cater for? Yeah, so we're going to talk about those skills. Okay. Most of those skills we've mentioned already here in our channel. There are okay. certain skills the program are looking for, which we have mentioned here in um, our okay, channel, in our previous, in our previous uh, videos. videos. So yeah. if you haven't watched um, those videos, please click on the link and go watch them after this, right? So we're going to be listing out the high job, the, the job in demand for this particular program, yeah. right? Um, we're not going to, you know, give details of what the job functions are. The knock code and and yeah, we'll just we we'll just mention the names and probably the knock codes. Yeah. Um, can you start by giving us one of the? Yeah, I think uh, basically it's a tech-oriented uh, stream. Mm -hmm. So anything tech, you know. Yes. Uh, so I think the first mm -hmm. one is um, your telecommunications uh, career manager. Mm -hmm. If you're a telecom uh, career manager, you, you've got a chance in BC. Yeah. And the knock code is 0131. So if that's your field, you might want to consider this. Yeah. Okay. So another il eligible field is computer and information system manager, 0213. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> and then you have your manager in publishing uh -huh. uh, motion pictures, broadcasting mm -hmm. and performing ads. Okay. Uh, your no code is uh, 0512. 0512 yeah. We also have the electrical and electronics engineers. Yeah, which I remember we mentioned. We mentioned this. Yes. Yeah. So, guys, their knock code is 2134. And next on the list is your civil engineers. You know, uh, your, uh, the knock code is 2131. We mentioned that already in our job in demand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We also have the computer engineers. Computer uh, engineers, the knock code is 2147. Expert in software engineering and designing. We have the chemical engineers with um, knock code 2134. I think we are going to list all this. Yes. Yeah, because I, I can imagine how difficult it would be for you to catch this. Yeah. And then we have the database analyst, mm -hmm. uh, 2172 is the knock code. Yeah, so we also have computer programmer and interactive media developers. Yeah. Um, the NOC is 2174. And um, last, we have the web designers and developers. The no code is 2175. So these are just some of the occupations. Um, so when we go to the website, you would see the 29 occupation in demand in BC. 29? There yes, there are yeah. 29 in wow. number. So, um, so are we going to give them the... Yes, guys. I'm going to walk you through to look up um, the job in demand in those websites um, so that okay, you see the rest. We are giving them the link to the website. Yes. Okay. Yes, excellent. guys. All excellent. right. Yeah. So let's talk about the step-by-step -step process of how the BC Tech program works. Yeah. Um, so when we, after you have, of course, you're already in the pool and you have your scores, it doesn't matter how low, yeah. um, you just after you get a job offer, once, first you, of once all, you are found eligible for express entry, yes, then the, you can. You, the first thing is to get out and look for an employment um, opportunity. opportunity in that field, in those fields Profession, that we yeah. mentioned, and in BC. Yeah. So once you get uh, a job offer, the, f the second step is apply for a job. Now, the first step is apply for a job, the second step is when you get the job offer. That means the requirements that BC is looking for. Yeah. Um, it must fall First within. First of all, the job has to be one of those 29 jobs exactly. in demand. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, the, the job must be a job that assures you of one year duration. Exactly. You know, you can't just come in to come and do a job for probably a part time for three months. Mm -hmm. That will not survive. Mm -hmm. You need a job that offers you at least a year contract. Yes. And then the job offer must be from an eligible employer. In, in British Canada, Columbia, yeah, in British Columbia, and must be a full-time job. 
Yeah. Yes, it has to be yeah. a full-time job. Yeah. If you have um, work permits in BC... These are for um, people that are ready in Yes, in for Canada. people who are already yeah. in Canada. If you, you have work permit, permit. Yeah. yeah, if you work have permit. work permits yeah. from BC, from one of the 29 eligible occupations, yeah. you need to have at least 120 20 calendar days remaining on your work permit. Yeah. This is for those, that's, uh, those that's people that are ready. four months. Yes, yeah. at least um, before you're able to apply so for this. So if you're if you already in BC, if I get you very well, if mm -hmm. you're already in BC with a work permit mm -hmm. uh, visa, now that visa should have at least four months left on it. Yes. Okay, before you can it, apply. I think the reason for that is because of the processing time. So yes, that, the yeah. processing time is two to two to three months, yeah. like we mentioned. Yeah. So yeah, it still falls within. Yeah. Um, so um, for this offer, an LMIA, which I would, I'll put the full meaning later, is not required. Um, this LMIA is required for most job offers in other provinces, but in the BC, it's not required. Mm. Um, so the third step is to create a profile on the BC PMP online registration system called um, skilled Im immigration registration system yeah s-i-r-s -S. this is um after you've gotten all other things you go ahead and register here um, registration is free and the websites i would also put it in here for you guys to see um so it would what's the name of the website is welcomebc.ca okay good. yes so when you receive a confirmation email that contains your registration score your score is based on your profile okay that's where what we have on our profile comes in okay and you the the next step is that you would receive an ita invitation to apply mm -hmm. ITA. <laughs> and then draws are held every week so when wow. i was saying that people are invited every week this is what i mean draws are held every week and yeah. then Take it from there. Yeah, so once you receive your uh, invitation to apply, then you submit your complete application, mm -hmm. including required document as well as the application fee of $700. Yes. This is nothing compared to the likes of Ontario Province. And yes, all the cheapest. So uh, mm -hmm. you, you have to do that within uh, 30, 30 days, days of receiving your ITA. So you have Correct. 30 days from the day you receive your ITA. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing is to once your process is done you receive a nomination certificate mm -hmm. from bc once your application is approved mm -hmm. and this will give you a whooping 600, 600 points. points yeah guys, guys moment you get that you can now continue with your application as a provincial nomination candidate mm -hmm. and then another important information is that you should have already been in the, the pool. pool we cannot over even if you that. have a very low crs score yes. when we say very low i mean the score that will permit you to be eligible yeah you don't need to bother yourself i don't have up to 400 i don't have up to these once um icrs ircc accept you mm -hmm. as being eligible mm -hmm. your score is good enough mm -hmm. so guys um i wanted to walk you guys through um the website so that you see um the program yourself and you can also go watch it um, go through their website yourself, all right? So when you type in welcomebc.ca, this is the page that would open up. So as soon as the page opens up, go to, um, come to the side, and you will see the program that we were talking about, the BCPNP Tech. Go ahead and click on it. And yeah, it opens up to the page where it talks about the program and yeah, mostly what we've talked about already. Um, the features, the service, timelines, prioritization, the engagement. And please guys, I would advise that you take out your time and just read through this. Um, you, you, you may never know. Um, something might just click for you. Um, so you have the BC Tech process that we talked about, the, the weekly invitations, and the rest see engagement and outreach and the special services it's called the concierge services when you start up at this point um so this is the point where you have gotten a job and you're qualified a job that falls within this program well a job that falls within what is required um so as soon as you apply um you would get personal assistance um people that would be able to reach out to you. Find that out in pmpconcerge.gov.bc.ca. Okay, and 
that's it so to see the 29 in demand jobs okay see i told you guys this that you don't require a labor market impact assessment that's the lmia okay so when other job offers and pro, um, programs you would require this if you get a job in canada um, but in this program you don't need it and yes there would also be client support services through email and phones so you'd have people that you can reach and call send emails to support you through the process okay and let's see all right eligible bc pnp tech occupations so here is the 29 in demand tech occupation that i talked about so if you want to get the full click here okay and it opens up to a page go to bc pnp tech and all right here you go bc tech key technology occupation and here it is so when you click on it you'll see the 29 um, in demand jobs that are needed for this program um hmm audio and video recording technicians hmm interesting broadcast technicians editors wow authors and writers um there are a couple of them guys 29 with your noc codes so this so it's not just for the engineers and the computer um, programmers and all the rest there are also user support technicians mm, interesting um so yeah just you know take out time and read through and if you know anybody that is interested and um has this um, occupation or job in demand um please reach out to them and tell them you know um it's always <laughs> You know a good thing to share this kind of information because you never know right and if you are not qualified or you feel like you're not eligible for this program guys it's not the end there are a lot of changes happening um in recent times and i believe that you know one will favor you all right so yeah that's that's just what i wanted to take you guys through run through the right. step again uh, the most important part of this uh, process is first of all you must have an account mm -hmm. with IRCC yeah and then you must be a tech uh, professional right because this program is strictly for tech guys yes right? now you have your account you are tech guys the next you are tech guys sorry the next thing is to now start looking for job in British Columbia now you want to ask me how do I get that done? I'm in Africa, I'm in India, I'm in Asia, how do I get that done? I think we should do a different video on how to help. Okay. Yeah. So probably we'll do yes. we we'll do a video to that effect. Mm -hmm. Let's just give you something to look uh, forward to. <laughs> yes, yeah. we'll do a video on how you can, you know, look for jobs um, outside of Canada. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. what we just do in that video we is to uh, show you the pathway and then to help you on the resume format yes that will catch the attention of, of an the, employer yes, in canada yeah. exactly, exactly i think that works yes so nice. you will get uh some details of uh, those jobs everything will be in the description box mm -hmm. um the, the those jobs your the the site mm -hmm. the sites they are going to check on and all that yeah. okay guys yeah. so we have come to the end of this video um as always it was a pleasure and we always like to speak to you all please take your time um personal research cannot be overemphasized guys. yeah and before we go i want to officially wish you a happy birthday ah <laughs> guys uh yesterday was my wife's birthday and uh, we had a long weekend yeah you're going to have a vlog tonight you are yes. going to have a vlog to that effect next yeah, week yeah. or yeah, well, anytime. Happy birthday, dear, thank dear, dear you, wife. Baby. I love you. Thank and I appreciate you. you. Thank you. And I believe our, our viewers, our subscribers love you and they appreciate you. Thank you, guys. We pray that you will live long in Jesus' name. Amen. On your behalf. <laughs> you know, thank I'm you, wishing baby. her a happy birthday. Thank love you. Love you. Mwah. Why? Why does it have to be a pet? Uh -uh. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. Okay, guys. Alright, guys. Love you.
bye have bye, a great guys. day please don't forget to subscribe and like the video and share because i know there are a lot of people that might have need for this information if you know anybody that has um, a tech background or you know or any of those um um jobbing Jobs. demand yeah. that we've mentioned yeah. please go ahead and click on the share um button and, and share to them this information will be helpful to them and guys before we leave this is 10 10 p.m yes guys can you this is the it? beauty of summer this is the beauty ten of summer <laughs> minutes past 10, 10 p.m and everywhere is still bright and we, and we can, can still, still do make a video videos. without light <laughs> yes I mean, this is natural light uh-huh canada is sweet <laughs> And guys, we're clocking one year soon, so we're going to be sharing our Canadian experiences yeah. and what we love about Canada. Guys, there is so much for you guys to look forward to. More videos on the way, all right? We just want to encourage you to come and join us here. Yes. <laughs> the land is big, mm -hmm. the land you is prosperous, take all of us. and it's a beautiful place. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for always coming through. Thank you guys for always watching our videos. We love you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Love you guys. Hey!